Hey there YouTube, Flaming Creations here back with another video. And today I have two gloves, both of them are for John. First is this custom larger scale needle glove. Uh, besides being custom for a larger hand and everything, uh, he requested that it gets paint on it, kind of like the other Part 3s. Um, I normally don't do this for my Part 3s. I usually just leave it clean, copper and brass, but he requested that I paint it, which isn't accurate to my knowledge. But that's how we wanted it, so... I did learn, finally, how to get the nice caramel colors on the copper with heat, so... I'm gonna start incorporating that on part twos and threes. Still gonna let gloves like fives and sixes naturally weather themselves, but... Yeah. Leather turned out a little bit darker than I would have wanted it to, but... I guess it kind of suits. Uh, darker look of the armature with the paint on it. Wasn't trying to go for any, uh, what's it called? Um, patterns in particular, just kind of spray painted it, removed some, tried to get some of the misting effect on there, you know. Uh, the syringes are up higher, uh, since, uh, Customer has a larger sized hand. Uh, we're trying to figure out a way that it might be he might be able to wear this. So it's like I cut off the syringes a lot sooner than they would be. Normally the syringes would end near where the leather cuts are. But pretty much your fingertips are what's going to be touching. Otherwise you could use the ringlets I suppose. <laughs> this glove wears kind of funky on my hand being the way I made it. Uh, yeah. Don't, oh, so sometimes, uh, your finger might try to, like, hit the plunger. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't be pushing the plunger. So, just a little warning. I think you said that this was mainly going to be for display, though, not, like, a main wearer, so. Not too worried about it. I got a different syringe this time that has some weird writing on there, like single use. I was trying to get rid of it, but <laughs> wasn't able to. There is blue liquid in here, as you can see by my keyboard. <laughs> the liquid kind of matches my wall, so sometimes I have to point out that, yes, there is blue liquid in here. I would have shot this video outside, but it is raining, so... All right, now on to your other glove. And your other glove is this Part 4 Apple Glove. I always say this, but Part 4 Apple Glove is one of the better fitting and wearing gloves, in my opinion. I did a few things differently on this glove. For one, this is using, uh, instead of Rapalas or Rapalas, however you want to say it, uh, ground down knives. This time I wanted to try something new. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this. If you hear a kitty, the kitty's in here talking. Um, but I, I'm using ground down knives on this. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this for all future Apple gloves. But, yeah. Also, another thing, when I was brazing the blades on, the middle tip decided to go a lot darker than the rest. Because I kind of messed something up and had to go back and such. So, the middle tip, the red's kind of washed away for the most part. But I talked it over with the customer and he seemed alright with it. So, left it. Otherwise, I love the weathering I was able to get on here. So...
Also, uh, did a little experimenting with the leather on this. It's like a brownish, blackish gray color. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to do this this way, but I want to do, do a little bit of experimenting with this one. And I mean, it, it suits the leather, or, or suits the armature, I'd say, so... Newer style 1178s are getting harder to find. I did replace the uh, buckle and strap and everything, so. I don't know if I mentioned it before, I think I did, but these are both larger scale gloves. Uh, they're on a large leather, but I've bent the armature over one inch pipe since wider fingers and such. So yeah, here are your two gloves, John. I'll be getting these shipped out tomorrow. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.